This week on The Wire, average borrower is 45 months ahead, 300 plus suburbs hit the $1 million median, and banks offer faster loan approvals. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. We can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. And kicking it off with our top story for this week, the average borrower is 45 months ahead. So Australians have paid an additional $50 billion in mortgage repayments during the COVID pandemic, with some more than three years ahead on their repayments. Now low interest rates and reduced spending because of the closed international borders and lockdowns means many Australians have parked their extra cash in their home loans. Now APRA data shows that by the end of 2021, the average homeowner was 45 months in advance. And that is a big step up from the start of 2020 when the average homeowner was only 32 months ahead. Now, Market Economics Managing Director, I should say, Stephen Kukula says the pandemic changed spending habits. The pandemic changed a lot of things. We didn't tend to stay at home, didn't get to spend our money on luxurious things like holidays. Kukula says a lot of people decided to take advantage to pay down their mortgage. Now, he says many have reduced the time to pay off their mortgages by six or seven years and have a good buffer when interest rates do rise. And now moving on to our next story. 300 plus suburbs hit the $1 million median. So an additional 311 Australian suburbs now have median house prices of a million dollars or more with Sydney and regional New South Wales accounting for the largest number of new entrants. Now CoreLogic data shows that between May and December 2021, 38 more suburbs recorded a median price of $1 million or more. In all, 77 suburbs in the Sydney region joined the list with the majority of the new entrants on the central coast. There are now 417 Sydney suburbs with million dollar plus medians. Now Brisbane recorded 40 new entrants, taking its total to 91, while regional Queensland added 36 suburbs to reach a total of 82. Now Brisbane's suburbs included Sandgate, Shawncliffe, Nunda, Kedron, Sunnybank, Annerley and Inogra. An additional 37 suburbs were added to Melbourne, lifting its total to 221, while Adelaide, I should say, added 25 suburbs to come to a total of 70, and the ACT recorded 18 new additions, coming to a total of 45. Now Perth added 10 new suburbs to bring its total to 52, and Hobart added two new entrants to hit a total of seven. And now guys, moving on to our final story of the week, banks offer faster home loan approvals. So home lenders continue to fight for dominance with faster approvals, their latest tool to entice borrowers. Now, big banks such as the ANZ have reduced their, uh, wanted to reduce their waiting times for approvals so they can keep up with demand. Along with quick approvals, lenders are continuing to offer cashback deals, with 25 banks and lenders offering mortgage customers incentives to shift their home loan over. That's according to analysis by Rate City. They're offering sweeteners at the same time as a number of banks have started to lift fixed interest rates. Now, ANZ has lifted rates on fixed rate mortgages three times in the past three months. According to Lendy Group Chief Executive David Hyman, the median value uh, variable interest rate secured by customers for loans settled in its platform in the past two months was 2.31%. He says approval times have fluctuated significantly in the past two years and that's something banks have to approve, improve, I should say. Many lenders have been working hard to improve their service level agreements because the customer experience is just as important as price, Hyman says. Well guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week guys and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Thanks a lot and bye for now.